Hello everybody, so I've brought some Acrigel to the table. Acrigel is from Nao um, and this was just a tube that I bought. I bought the gel residue wipe off which I already had some anyway but I had the CJP one so I bought some Nao um, and the Urban Graffiti base coat. So I bought these just to give them a try. So I'm going to fill my dappin dish with the gel residue wipe off and then I'm going to begin. So we all know that I don't do um, gel, I hate gel, I think it's messy, it's just annoying and I prefer acrylic but I did see a few videos with Kirsty Meekin trying this, um, I've also watched Liz Guild use a different brand as well and she used them um, and I asked about wearability and a few days later she did um, update on that so I will be updating you on this one as well. Um, but it was a 30ml bottle I got, it was £20 and watching Kirsty Meekin use it, it looked relatively easy and a lot cleaner than normal gel um, so all you do is fill your dappin dish with your gel residue wipe off just prep as usual um, dehydrate but don't prime um, you put your base layer of urban graffiti directly onto the nail not over the tip um, and make sure that the full tip is also buffed the reason that I use tips is because I've never used this before um, this set so I wanted to make sure that it was easy to work if you know what I mean so I didn't put um, a form on and then have to press down too hard on the form um, so I've wet my brush in the gel residue wipe off used the spatula end to scrape a little bead off and this was the first nail that I tried so I put a bead on and you can see there I've wet my brush and it is really really easy to work um, so it's literally just patting and pressing it into place like you would acrylic but with this it doesn't set so you can keep messing so you see in there that I had pulled it too far forward and my apex wasn't there so the bit that I pulled off the end I flipped over put it back to where the apex was and now you can see I'm just trying to get the little bit off the end again which you can actually reuse so you can pop it onto the next nail if you need to so with your gel base you're popping that down and then drying that for one minute in a LED light I think it's two minutes in a UV um, and then you go directly in with this so it is really really simple I found it easy to work what I didn't find easy was creating my apex but like I said I've never ever used this product before or any product like it either so it was sort of trial and error um, and I did find that if you put too much gel residue wipe off solution on your brush it did get obviously a little bit soggier um, and a bit thinner so you just need enough to keep it from sticking to the product so as I went along I did get better at it um, so yeah um, when Liz updated on hers I think hers lasted a few days um, so I'm hoping that this is a good product because I do want to do gel nails um, for the clients that have requested it but I don't want to use gloopy gel from a pot <laughs> because I find it annoying and so now that I'm happy with that I've sent my lady away to dry that one in the lamp because I've just got a bit excited and I wanted to see how one dried and um, you can see me smacking it there with a the spatula to see if it taps like acrylic because <laughs> I'm weird um, I just wanted to check that it was dry so once it was dry in the lamp for one minute I'll give it a wipe off with the gel residue wipe off because there is a tacky layer left and it was beautiful and I just got really really excited and cracked on with the rest of them um, there's not really that much else to say about this it's really easy to blend at the cuticle so if you're struggling with like acrylic and blending that at the cuticle this is like it's a dream it's just so good um, when Liz did her video I got really excited because I've been looking for a product like the one that Liz had used um, and I found I think I find this quite expensive the Acrigel from um, Nao for the tubes I think it's pretty ridiculous when I received mine it was 30 mil it was very small as you've seen in my hand um, and £20 I was like oh, I like, didn't think I'd get two sets out of it but so far I have and it's still probably more than three quarters full so I'm, I'm like looking forward to finding out how many I'll get out of that 30 mil tube to decide on whether it's feasible to buy all the other colours because I've only got this one pink blush one um, all the other colours in the 60 mil tubes which are £40 so yeah fingers crossed but when you work out the cost 
it's not that bad because you generally already have the gel residue wipe off solution hanging around you've always got your base coat possibly not um, the nail one but the nail one is um, it's got a flex in it and so is this so apparently it's best to use the same one um, so that's what I did this one you can see I've done this nail a little bit thinner so there wasn't as much product because the product that I put on that one I've taken from the previous nail so I've just added a bit to that which I also found easy to do as well um, and to push it back is really easy as you can see so yeah I think overall if you add up the cost of the products and to do a set of nails in comparison to doing acrylic nails it probably works out around about the same it just seems shocking that you get a really small tube for 20 quid when you can get a 40 gram tub of acrylic colour for like 11 to 15 pounds or whatever um, but it does work out pretty much the same I think when I calculate it in my brain so the feel because I've got a set on I am the second set um, and I did them on myself which I found really really easy um, and the feel I'm gonna say a bit strange because <laughs> I've never had gel nails I've always had acrylic so they feel light um, they feel like not plasticky but it's just a strange feeling but I don't know if that's because I'm also wearing tips as well because normally I sculpt my own um, as well and this is also new to me so they feel like not uncomfortable and not unnatural yeah maybe they do feel unnatural I don't know how to describe how they feel they feel like plasticky like like the thick kind of plastic that you get on um, the kids knives and fork sets that you get I don't know if that makes sense to anyone well, I'm just gonna shut up <laughs> they feel different um, and that's all I've got to say <laughs> So I'm going to go across these nails, I do apologise if it goes out of focus, for some reason my camera decided to focus on my grotty nails and yes I have been a bad girl and yes I did pull off the last bit of acrylic from my nails because I started to soak them off, I had to stop midway through to sort out my children and then yeah I just thought I can't be bothered going back so I did actually bite them off, my bad, really bad because I actually ripped my nails so don't do that. <laughs> So while I'm here, I just want to say hi to all my new subscribers. Hola! Um, usually I do do acrylic. I'm doing gel today. This is a one-off. Well, maybe not. I quite like this product, so you might see more gels. Who knows? Uh, but hi, everybody. Um, I am talking uber quiet because my children are in the next room and trying to get this voiceover done. Um, but hello, and I hope you're enjoying this. Um, and if anybody is interested in the gel colours that I put over the top of this at the end, they are gel bottle ink and I use latte and golden eye. Okay. I'm just going to leave you with this application for a couple of minutes and then I will come back. So as I'm working my way through them, um, what I would like to say, I didn't leave any filing in. Um, this is all pretty much the same. It is super, super easy to work with. As far as longevity goes, I don't know yet, but I will keep you updated and let you know. Um, but they're just super pretty. They were so nice, even when they dried um, and I'd wiped the sticky layer off, they looked really, really nice. Um, and the filing was just so easy so so easy i would say use um a lower grit file so you want something that's made for the natural nail rather than acrylic because it is super easy to file so there is two annoying things about this acrygel 
um, the first thing is that opening and shutting the, the tube is quite annoying so I didn't want to do them all at once at first because obviously it's the first time I've used it I didn't want to make a big mess so I just did one at a time um, and then dried it so that was on the first hand on this hand I've got a little bit cocky so it annoyed me that I had to keep opening and shutting the tube so because it went so well on the first hand I did the second hand like this so I did a Kirsty Meekin um, and put all the blobs on at once which saved me having to open and shut the tube and scrape off a new blob so I just put all my blobs on there it doesn't move um, but what I do find is I'm quite a clumsy person so once I've done one nail because I worked from left to right I did find myself catching like the other nails with my hand or my fingers and having to go back and sort of sort them out because I didn't dry them in between and obviously I couldn't dry them in between because I had the blobs there um, so that is the only other thing that I find annoying but other than that so far so good I really do like this product so I, I really want more I want more also actually the other thing is it took me 45 minutes to do a full set including all my prep of the nails sizing up the tips shaping the tips um, and the gel everything took 45 minutes in total filed and finished so really really quick I'm not gonna run through all of these nails again I'm gonna do exactly the same thing and I'm not gonna bore you with it um, I'll show you me putting this one on then it'll go into the lamp for one minute um, and I will wipe off the tacky layer and then I'm gonna apply some gel coats which get dried for 60 seconds in between each layer and I will leave you some picker jars at the end I hope you enjoyed this I will keep you updated on how long they last and how they wear etc um, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all again soon love you bye